In a world where technological evolution and environmental concerns merge, innovation takes center stage. One of the most significant recent announcements was made by Hyundai's CEO, Jae Hoon Chang, about their exploration into ammonia as a fuel source. It's not every day that a car manufacturer shakes up the industry with an engine concept entirely removed from the ubiquitous internal combustion or electric variants. But Hyundai has done just that. Hyundai has been at the forefront of exploring alternative energy sources for its vehicles. Their interest in hydrogen fuel cells, for instance, gave rise to models such as the Nexo, which managed to carve out a niche in a market dominated by gasoline and electric vehicles. However, the introduction of an ammonia engine signifies a deeper commitment to a sustainable and emission-free future. Ammonia, a compound made up of nitrogen and hydrogen, has been considered for its potential as a carbon-free fuel source. Unlike gasoline or diesel, burning ammonia releases only nitrogen and water vapor, thus completely eliminating carbon emissions. The global call to reduce our carbon footprint makes this an intriguing option. But what is it about ammonia that caught the eye of a giant like Hyundai? It's not just about being emission-free. Ammonia is abundant, and it's easier to transport and store compared to hydrogen. This offers the possibility of a global refueling infrastructure, something hydrogen has struggled with. Of course, the ammonia-powered concept does come with challenges. The foremost concern is the production of green ammonia. While ammonia production is well-established globally, most of it is derived from fossil fuels, negating any emission benefits. Green ammonia produced using renewable energy sources is the key to making this a truly sustainable option. It's interesting to note how the automotive world responds to such innovations. Take, for instance, Tesla. Under Elon Musk's leadership, Tesla has been a significant proponent of battery electric vehicles. Their commitment to BEVs has been so intense that Musk once referred to fuel cells as fool cells. And while electric cars like the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y have taken the world by storm, establishing the dominance of electric drivetrains, it's important to remember that there is no one-size-fits-all solution in the realm of sustainable transportation. Other automakers, too, have been exploring a multitude of paths. Toyota, for example, has invested heavily in hydrogen fuel cell technology, launching the Mirai as a clear statement of their faith in hydrogen as the fuel of the future. Then there's Mazda, a brand synonymous with defying conventions. They have been researching and developing the rotary engine to work as a range extender for electric vehicles, and rumors have it that they're also peeking into alternative fuels like ammonia. Hyundai's ammonia engine is not an endeavor in isolation. The car industry as a whole recognizes that the future is not about putting all eggs in one basket. Diverse geographic, economic, and logistical considerations mean that the world will likely thrive on a mix of technologies. For some regions, BEVs will be the most suitable option due to their established infrastructure, while others may find solace in hydrogen or ammonia, especially where renewable energy can be harnessed effectively. With the announcement of their ammonia engine, Hyundai has essentially thrown down the gauntlet to other automotive giants. The question is, who will pick it up? And how will this reshape the industry? It's not just about developing a new engine. It's about developing the entire ecosystem around it, from production and refueling infrastructure to user acceptance and global regulations. Engagement from major players can bring about rapid advancements. Consider the speed at which electric vehicles have developed over the past decade. Battery technology, once a major limitation, has seen dramatic improvements in energy density and cost, thanks largely to the involvement and competition of major automakers. Hyundai's foray into ammonia is reminiscent of the early days of the auto industry, when there was a plethora of propulsion methods vying for dominance. From steam to electricity to gasoline, each had its proponents and skeptics. It was the infrastructure, availability, and the economics of the time that ultimately made gasoline the de facto choice. However, the contemporary world, with its acute awareness of environmental impacts and depleting resources, no longer has the luxury of depending solely on one mode of propulsion. One might wonder, will Hyundai's move act as a catalyst for other automobile giants to intensify their R&D efforts into alternative fuel sources? History has shown that when one major player takes a leap of faith, others often follow suit. If we look back to the early 2010s, 
electric vehicles were primarily niche products. Yet, when Tesla unveiled its Roadster and later the Model S, the industry took notice. Now, nearly every major manufacturer has an electric or hybrid vehicle in its lineup, and some are even vowing to become fully electric in the coming decades. The broader implication of Hyundai's announcement is that it challenges the complacency within the industry. Car makers like General Motors, Ford, and Volkswagen are already making strategic shifts, and the ammonia engine could push them to think even more broadly. While Hyundai is not implying that ammonia is the definitive future of automobiles, it is pushing the narrative that diversification of fuel sources is necessary. After all, there are several routes to sustainability, and the best path might involve a mosaic of solutions rather than a single dominant one. Moreover, the socioeconomic implications of such a move are immense. Countries rich in renewable energy resources could become significant exporters of green ammonia. This might redefine global trade dynamics, shifting power away from traditional oil-rich nations. Jobs and expertise in ammonia production, distribution and engine maintenance could potentially stimulate economies and create new industries. Consumer perspective is another vital facet. For years, consumers have been conditioned to think about miles per gallon or more recently, range per charge. Introducing a new fuel source like ammonia would require a re-education of the masses. This isn't an insurmountable challenge, though. After all, consumers have shown adaptability as technology has evolved, transitioning from horse-drawn carriages to gasoline engines and now to electric vehicles. With the right incentives, infrastructure, and awareness campaigns, ammonia or similar alternative fuels can gain consumer acceptance. One also cannot ignore the potential challenges. While the environmental benefits of ammonia are evident, Safety concerns related to its storage, transportation, and use cannot be overlooked. Ammonia is corrosive and can be toxic if inhaled. The development of robust safety protocols and systems will be paramount to ensure its widespread adoption. The ramifications of an ammonia-based propulsion system might well extend beyond the automotive sector. Think about the energy sector, for instance. The global energy grid, primarily built around fossil fuels, faces increasing pressure to decarbonize. The use of green ammonia as an energy storage medium could serve as a bridge, aiding in the integration of renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and hydro into the grid. If ammonia engines gain traction in the automotive world, it might drive down the costs of green ammonia production, making it a more viable energy storage solution. Moreover, an increase in green ammonia production could have cascading effects on the agricultural sector. Today, most ammonia is used for fertilizer production. As demand for green ammonia rises in the automotive sector, research into more efficient and sustainable ammonia production methods could simultaneously benefit food production. This interlinking of the automotive, energy, and agricultural sectors underscores the holistic impact of innovations like the one Hyundai is championing. One cannot speak of such a technological shift without addressing the potential societal impacts. Job markets will evolve, with new roles emerging in green ammonia production, specialized vehicle maintenance, and infrastructure development. As with any technological evolution, there will be challenges. Traditional jobs centered around the conventional automotive supply chain might face obsolescence. Governments and policymakers will need to be proactive, ensuring that transitions are smooth, workers are retrained, and no community is left behind. Another layer of this intricate narrative revolves around geopolitical strategies. Nations have for decades designed their foreign policies around energy resources, primarily oil. As we move towards a future where oil's dominance diminishes and alternatives like green ammonia take center stage, there might be a reshuffling of power dynamics. Countries with vast renewable energy potential previously overlooked in the global energy discourse might emerge as key players. In the grand tapestry of automotive evolution, Hyundai's announcement is but a single thread, yet it's a vibrant, eye-catching thread that draws attention and might inspire other designs. The automotive landscape is in a state of flux, with each manufacturer attempting to chart its course in an uncertain future. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.